happy Sunday. We have some awesome people. Finally, from the finally the commercial side of real estate because we always do the residential side, but now it's my turn. So the commercial side of real estate, we have L. Libunitz and Brent Warlow. They are both from CBI, which is Culture Based. Did you say those names right? Yes, he did. You awesome. nailed it. I did it. Um, they're from Culture Based Interiors, uh, which is a disruptive company here in San Antonio. Um, I, I'm going to start with you, Brent. Tell us the the story of CBI and, and how y'all came to be. Sure. Well, thank you very much for having us on here. And nice our story you. is... His jacket is, is money, by the way. I love it. No, no, it's not. It's not, <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Um, so our story involves a, a move, actually, an international move. We were from the UK originally, and... My, I tell. <laughs> that's the West Texas draw. That <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, moved across to the States uh, about 14 years ago, coming up in April. Mm-hmm. And prior to that, we had an office interiors company in the UK. And we sold 50% of that at the time and moved across to the States. My folks always wanted to to do the American dream thing. Sure. So you got an RV, drove... No. No. Okay. No. Kayak. (laughs) (laughs) And we started, we set up shop in San Antonio doing office furniture as well. And we literally arrived, we had some capital, which of course is a key component of starting a business, but we didn't really have anything else. We had no relationships and no connections. Sure. So... We needed phone service, and someone told us about a company called AT&T, and we called them, and sure enough, they did phones. And uh, I rented an office from a friend at the time. It was about 200 or so square feet, and hired someone to start calling around local businesses in San Antonio and seeing if they had furniture needs. And that was about 14 years ago, and today we are in 80,000 square feet of commercial space. A little bit of a job. Yes, yeah. so we've we've stepped up along the way through various spaces, and we've outgrown the space that we're in, actually. And we have a team of around 50, and we have a office and showroom in Austin, Texas as well. So, so let um, me ask you, how, why are you here to San Antonio? Was it the weather? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's all it was, was the weather. Um, I didn't have a lot of say in it at the time. Obviously, I was one of um, four sons. We're all in the business together. Sure. So... Um, I didn't have a lot of say in it. It's taken a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get us where we are yeah. today. But it's been worth it. And it's hard. I was obviously much younger at the time. And San Antonio wasn't a particularly youthful place right. to move to. In it is well, we have the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, exactly. So what exactly do, do you do? Exactly. Like the company itself. Yes. Office furniture and furnishing commercial office space. So if I have a commercial space, I'm a, you know, I have an office space and, and I well, need... we're getting you office space, right? Yeah. So, so we're right. getting you office space and you spread. <coughs> so um, I would call you. Yeah. And wh- yes, how does this work? What, what would we do? So you would reach out to Culture Based Interiors and we would set up what we call a discovery meeting. Mm-hmm. And the first discovery meeting, um, we would ask you a lot of questions, not necessarily pertaining to furniture. We would ask you about the type of culture that you're looking to create in this office mm-hmm. environment, the culture of the company, the history of the company, where the company's been, where the company's going. Tell me why do you think that's so important. Because, that, by the way, that's very unique. Yeah. It is. That's uh, our approach. Most people say, hey, so how many cubicles do you need? <laughs> right. Uh, how many? Um, how tall do you want the desks and, and what kind of chairs? Like That's usually the, yeah. the mm-hmm. format. Yeah. But you guys are a little bit different than that. We are. So that is one of the unique dimensions that we bring is our discovery process. But that's unique only because we ask different questions and have a different approach sure. to what other folks have. But it's not really a unique product or anything like that. It's the approach. It's the approach the that's service. unique and the service. And a lot of the feedback we get is they actually drill down into who we are, not just how many desks do you need. Because it's different. Like if you're, if you're dealing with like, I don't know, like a real estate company like us, you want, it's going to be a different style and format than let's say a tech company, a tech company or um, data based entry mm-hmm. services or yep. whatever. Absolutely. And so so that's what really kind of separates you guys. And you guys sit down and say, what do you guys do? How long have you been in business? You get our personalities and it start, and then it's, mm-hmm. and then I was talking to Elle, uh, we had coffee and she was showing me how she converted just very space into what the company really should, like into the yeah. culture of the company. Exactly. And kind of going back to what Brent was saying about asking a lot of questions, you know, we start off and someone might come in and say we want cubicles because we've always been in a cubicle environment we want tall panels that's just kind of what we've always known 
Well, we start off that process and say, okay, we can go that direction, absolutely, but let's look at some other options. Why are you moving offices, first of all? Or why are you expanding or renovating? What are kind of the drivers behind that? And as we go through that discovery meeting and get those questions answered, then we start to really kind of get to see, well, this company is really focused on increasing teamwork and collaboration, let's say, in their work environment. Which wouldn't go well with cubicles. Exactly. So right. they may have come in thinking, let's just do the same thing we've always done. And we could have just turned around and said, here you go, here's a proposal for some cubicles, sign here, let's move on. But instead, we ask those questions on the front end so we can provide the right solutions for them. Sure. Not just where they are today, but also where they're going tomorrow. Absolutely. Too. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the CBI group. If someone wants to get a hold of you guys, what's the best way to do that? The best way is probably to reach out through our website, which is www.cbi-office.com, or our phone number, which is 210-655-3375. Be right back. 